welcome my viewers and my listeners to the program celebrate your moment with joy this is pastor florence i want to take this opportunity to thank god for the privilege of sharing his word and i also want to take this opportunity to thank you for the time you take to listen to watch to practice what you learn share with other people and even praying for me maybe you say you don't pray for pastor florence i want to urge you i want to remind you that we need each other uh, because uh, it is necessary. We are like pedals of a bicycle, so I, I, I covet your prayers in Jesus' name. My weekly schedules are Monday through Wednesday. I bring inspirational word, thus day celebrating in the kitchen because what we put in this body is of importance because our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Fridays, I bring putting on the right gear for the weekend because you and I have been created by God not to be stagnated, but to be in motion and also doing things to for his own glory and also for us because God has created you so that you can partner with him to serve him. Nevertheless, if when you don't serve God, God is not going to be at trust. So when we serve God, we do ourselves a favor until desire to be a steward in the fine yard of the Lord. There is always work to be done. Wherever, wherever you are passing, you don't have to be in the pulpit. You don't have to fight for a pulpit. There is work, the ministry to be done wherever you are. You are driving. There are people you need to pray for, the drivers. You are in the store. If there are people you're going to see, they need prayer. So that is to inspire you. There is something you can do. Saturday, Sunday, I take a break so that we can have a, ch or have a chance to go to the house of God. Those who go to church on Sunday, they can go. And those who go to church on Saturday, they can do that. Uh, because we are still in the month of Thanksgiving, I'm going to be sharing about Thanksgiving, something related with Thanksgiving from the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 15 and 16. I'm going to read from two versions, New King James Version and NLT. And the state expectant stay uh, around and I know God will bless you because every expectant heart receives from God. Let's start with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. I want to bless you for your goodness and for your mercies and enjoy it forever. Thank you for the privilege of sharing your word, O God. Use me as a vessel, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, God. I thank you for my fear and my reason. I pray that this word may go forth as a seed that will be in his on her heart uh, as a, a soil that will be watered by the Holy Spirit. Take over. I pray that I may decrease. I lift you higher for you. Say, if you are lifted up, you shall draw men unto yourself. Do only what you can do in Jesus name. Amen and amen. The peace that comes from God will make us be thankful or to simplify it, be thankful all the time. Be thankful all the time. This is what the word of God says. And let the peace of Christ rule in your heart to which indeed you are called in the one body and be thankful Hmm. Being thankful at all times, always, you know. Let the word of Christ dwell in you literally. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude in your heart. Sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. NLT says, and let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace. And always be thankful. Let the message about Christ in all its richness fill your lives. Teach and counsel each, each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. Be thankful at all times. Because... When we thank God, we make ourselves be inspired. We self-inspire ourselves when we are grateful. You don't have to have much to be grateful. Counting on the little things that God has done for you. Many times I try to say, look at yourself in the mirror. Your eyes, your mouth, your fingers, your entire body parts. The ones you can see and the ones you can't see. I can't see your kidneys. I can't see your liver. But we can point where it, 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 it is located. With that, you can thank God because you can breathe. Thank God that your breathing system works. It's a month of thanksgiving. And time again, I say, in our five minus family, I have a lot to thank God for. Because apart from the thanksgiving being in the month of November, 
One of our family members stepped here, that's my husband, in the month of November. What else can we say? That's why I can thank him and praise him. And I can join the singer who sang and said, Praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime, praise him, praise him, praise him when the sun goes down. Tum sifu, tum sifu, tum sifu asubui, tum sifu sasita, tum sifu, tum sifu, tum sifu atajioni, tum gose, tum gose, tum gose keroko, tum gose dadita, tum gose, tum gose, tum gose ondangwatuka. Praise him when the sun goes down. Be thankful at all times. I like the way the words have started. That the peace and let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. Not the peace that comes from your family. Not the peace that comes from your job when you get the money. Not the peace that come to you, that, that come from your uh, political leaders. Not the peace that comes when your family is peaceful, but the peace that comes from the Lord. Because anything that originates from the Lord, ah, nothing can move that, nothing can shake it. And then, when you know that, you know, from Christ's rule in your heart, when that peace rules in your heart, any other things coming to destabilize you will be under your feet in Jesus' name. And it is that uh, now, first, and, uh, 16 says, read the message about Christ in all its richness. Fill your lives. When that message, when the word of God dwells richly in you, you'll be able to teach. You'll be able to mentor. You'll be able to inspire. You'll be able to encourage. But if you don't have it, you're going to give what you have. So it is my prayer that you can get the richness of the word of God. And you can be able to say, your word is a lamp unto my feet. How rich are you with the word of God? We can be rich with money. We can be rich with properties. We can be rich with having many family members and good marriages and good jobs. But that cannot give you that wealth that you can share with other people when they are discouraged. That's why you hear People who are rounded so much until they have reached the, the highest level of education commit suicide. They have depression because there is something missing, the word of God. God's word is powerful. God's word encourages. God's word builds. Can I tell you that in Celebrate Your Moment with Joy, it's not about what is happening, but it's about the origin of the joy. The joy of the Lord, when it becomes your strength, and you know, you may not know this if you have not read the word of God. Because they say, the joy of the Lord is my strength. You have to know that word. And also, John 8, 32 says, you know the truth and the truth will set you free. It is the truth that you know from the word of God that will make you be thankful at all times. When things are not okay and when things are okay. When your body is hurting and when your body is healthy. When you don't have food to put on your table and when you have plenty. And you can feel like the way Apostle Paul said. I have run the secret to face all things. I know how to be in, in need and I know how to be in plenty. He knew he was not, his faith was not anchored in what he had and what he did not have. But it was anchored in the Lord. And when, you are, when your faith is anchored in, your, in, in the Lord... You rejoice whatever happens. You celebrate whatever happens. Know that you are not going to be shaken. There are things that happen in my life because I'm human. Yes. And my, the flesh feels it. And I get disturbed. That's why the, 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 the one continues to tell us, my flesh may fail, but the Lord, my brother, my sister, it is my prayer that no matter what could be going on around you, within your environment, that you can have that knowledge that will come from the word of God that you have stored in your heart. You know, the word of God does not come to us automatically. It does not come to us through osmosis. It comes through be, you being intentional. So, I want to make 
uh, four key points here about being thankful all the time. One, you have to know the origin of your thanksgiving. It comes from God. He, it pleased God to create you. Point number two. You have to know that you are variable before God, then you can thank him. You have to know you are variable before God, then you have to thank him. That thing, you have to know that you have to teach because you have the peace. What you have, you teach. That's number three. Number four, for you to be thankful, you'll also be so much motivated to serve, to serve by encouraging people, to serve by being generous, to serve by being accommodating. I'd say four. Let me say the last one. Five. For you to be thankful at all times, you have to find inspiration around you and motivation within you. I'm going to repeat that one. I'm going to be done. You have to find inspiration around you and motivation within you. You can never get something within unless something has been fed. You know our minds, what we feed with is what we get. The input, the input of our mind will bring the output of what you, we give. That is like a computer. Computers are very, very important. But unless something is put there, you can't have the output. It, something has to be installed, even with the phones that we use. If I need to have something, I have to install it. There is an app you have to, have to install. Can you be that person who will install the word of God in your heart? Because there is a time that you are not able to read from your, 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 your electronic device or from the hard copy. Like I always have the hard copy here with me. You may not be able to, there is a time you don't have the time to read this, especially if you are at work. So you have to have hidden the word of God in your heart. Then you can say, let the weak say they are strong. By stripes we are healed. That have, there are so many scriptures I've quoted. What am I driving at? I'm driving at you have to have the word of God that the Holy Spirit will remind you at the hour of need. The Holy Spirit reminds us all things. So when you have high, hidden that word, this word of God in your heart, the work of the Holy Spirit is to remind you. But the Holy Spirit will not remind you of a word that you have not read, that you have not hidden in your heart. So as you are going to be, start thanking God all the time and for all things, Know that you have to have the word. Be intentional. Create time. Desire to have this word. Because the word of God rejuvenates you. The word of God is the one that reminds you. I am with you always until the end of ages. It is the word of God that reminds you. Even unto gray hairs, I will see you through. It is a word of God that encourages you to remember. All things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. Does that one make you comfortable when you are going through stuff? No. Because we are in the fresh. Our spirit is always willing, but the fresh is weak. Even to pray, the spirit is willing to pray, but the fresh is weak. I'm tired. I am bored. I'm discouraged. My brother, my sister. There is always a tug of war between the spirit and the flesh. It's my prayer that my brother, my sister, you will desire to th be thankful at all times. And for you to be thankful, you have to know the truth in the word of God. The Bible tells us that God has lifted his word above his name. That is to say when you go to pray to God and you tell God, God, I want to thank you because you have created me in your own image. The Bible says you are created in the image of God. You go and tell God, God, I want to thank you. I come to you knowing that you are the rewarder of them that diligently seek you. That is the book of Hebrews. You'll be able to go to God and tell him, Father, I come to you. I am discouraged, but you are the Lord who will live to those who are discouraged. I'm coming to you as a woman who is discouraged for you to encourage me. Because he's with you, he'll hear you.
my brother, my sister, let's learn to be thankful as we are coming. The, 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 the month of November is progressing. Please, make sure if there is anything you are going to forget this month, don't forget to be thankful. Those who work, they are going to be paid whether you'll be working or not. Thanksgiving, you'll be paid. My brother, my sister, let us be thankful at all times. And let the word of God motivate you to be thankful to God. To be thankful for what you have. To be thankful for what you don't have. You see it with the eyes of faith. Because faith is evidence of the things not seen but hoped for. You are hoping for something. Thank God. Because in the faith. Things that appear in the physical are first conceived in the spirit. Confession make possession. Be higher. A person full of faith. Yes, in Jesus' name. And I know God will bless you. I don't want to say much, but I want to continue reminding you we be thankful this Thanksgiving month in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. I want to bless you for your goodness. I want to thank you for the privilege that I have had to share your word. I have left it to you, Lord. That, Lord God, this word as it goes forth, that it may not come back to you for it as you've said in your word, O God, in Isaiah. That your word will never return to you for it without accomplishing that which you purposed it to. This word, Jehovah God, I have given as your servant. Let it do the work that you wanted it to do. And for me, your servant, let revelation knowledge continue to come. Oh God, as I share with your people, help me to be faithful in this. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now, every time the word of God is preached, remember, it's talking to you as an individual. So I want to ask you, have you let the word of God be, be, fill your heart? Have you accepted the Lord so that you, even when you are intentional to pray and to read the word of God, you know you have a personal relationship with the Lord? If not, do you want to say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I am here. Thank you for the reminder that I be thankful at all times. Help me, dear Father, to be intentional, to create time, to read and study your word and meditate on it, O oh, Father. Father God, forgive me my sins of procrastination, of assumption, of complaining. I come to you. Make me a new creature. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The wood is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. But two things are important. Testimony of what has happened in your life and also looking for a home church. It's important that we have home churches. You don't want to be homeless. When you find a church, don't just be a spectator, but be a participator. Find something you can do in the house of God. If it's your home church, feel at home. Do something. Can I tell you one of the things you can do? Interceding. Pray. Just go before the service. Remember your pastor. Remember the members that will be coming. That's a position that you can never miss in any congregation in Jesus' name. Because the problem we have, many people are always looking for the front line in opposition. Those are not the very impactful ones. They are all important, but we are all called differently. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I said subscribe. Remember to share with other people. Remember to practice what you learn. And pray for me. And celebrate every moment. Thank God every moment. Because every moment you breathe in and breathe out counts. And it matters in Jesus' name. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. Thank you. Oh, Papa, 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 Pap